Hey there guys, my name is Marcus and in this video I'm going to show you how you can easily install and use stamp.io on Shopify. So the first thing what I'm going to do, I will just click here at application. Now I'll just wait for a while until it's going to load and I will click on the right bottom install app. Okay, let's wait until it's going to install and I'm going to show you how you can easily implement it uh, with your products on your Shopify website. And here we go. Logging you in. And now to ensure you get the best experience, just two questions, your type of e-commerce business. I'm going with, let's say dropshipping. How did you hear about us? Let's say Google, you just choose what you want here. Which channels are you selling on? And I'm going to click none. You again, choose if you use one of these channels. Click next. Now, the first thing you need to set up is branding. So brand name can be my reviews. You can add a logo. So I'm going to add a baby yoga, Yoda here. Okay, and you can, as you can see, we got a logo. I'll just refresh the website. Then you need to add a start color. I know why it's not working straight away. Yeah, it'll, I think it will refresh and it will go. Star color. Again, you can change it. You see the star color is not yellow, but I would have like Leo here. That's much better. But again, that's completely up to you. And then you have a text color. You will change just the color of the text. Again, you can change it. Then you have email settings here. And this is like we love your feedback. And you just add here the message. Uh, that you can change it as HTML, you can make it bold, italic, list, link, and you can change it. Email settings from name, reply to email, I will add mine here, but again, uh, you can change it. And then you have like layout here, if it's going to be boxed or compact or emoji or standard again you choose which one you want i'm going to zoom in a little bit so you can see it better i really like the emoji one but again you can choose which one you actually want an email localization label for title of review label for comment of review and label for publish again you can change these title review how was your overall experience if i change it this is going to change too and now from my review, so this is the branding that I changed. Subject with like your feedback, and this is what they are going to get. Now I'm just going to click next here because we finished this. Now we need to choose a plan. Let's wait until it's going to load. And then we will soon finish. Okay, I'm going to choose uh, the first one for free. Or what you can do is to also uh, choose the basic one or the premium, the business or professional. So, free one. And now, import past orders, kickstart the reviews by requesting from past customers. Send after 24 hours, import past 90, 120. Again, you can do it. I'm going to press skip. Then, when you're gonna do it, you see that you are in your GoStamp.io application. So, what are we gonna see here? First, Quewe. Here, you would see the review requests that you would send to people. Then, we see the customers. Here, you would see easily all your customers. Then, you would see products. And now, you can export the products that you would see, uh, the reviews for your products. In analytics, uh, you would see all the analytics as reviews here, total reviews, requests, emails, and total revenue via stamped EO, reports here, and now uh, ratings by products, ratings by country, and then you have like marketing here. And uh, you can have like social push here, ad center, create an ad. 
now moderation so when you would come here to reviews uh, you see that I have the sample I can delete it or you can unpublish it or you can archive it or just share it so what you can do as a direct link so this is my review here this is awesome product total love with it i can reply to it i can uh, also add a photo video and that's pretty much it then you would see like published reviews and unpublished reviews uh, then we have a questions here again these will be questions from people again published unpublished then you have like net promoter score here something like called visual UGC here and you would see kind of reviews here too and Instagram uh, where you would find the creation you can also connect your Facebook business account what you can do then is to simply go to settings and here you can customize it again so store name from name from email reply to you can add a logo you can i recommend like adding your uh, social links here then you have like social accounts connect twitter facebook uh, you can also uh, add facebook reviews tab exclusions e email exclusions all customers are opt-in only you can also add email addresses or domain names to exclude from future emails you have rules here uh, minimum required or the amount to send review email this is also really important and you have multiple settings here that you can actually edit and change now to go further you have groups here layouts again you see here that what kind of layout they actually want For question, you see this kind of layout. And then you're like following the NS records. Now, when you got it, what you can do also is to simply customize it. And this is the customize, how we can customize the reviews. So email frequency. So review your request like sequence. Again, we can have interval 40, 14 days after fulfillment. So after they are going to get the product, you're going to send the email layout emoji. You can add multiple sequences here so after 14 days email after seven days second email and let's say that um, i can ask something else here so that's what you can do and how we can optimize it then so this is the email sequence review request sequence email frequency frequency send for new order send only for the first order skip the first order send for the second order onwards and again uh, you can change the email sequence here photos and videos localization custom forms you can also add that too You see also example usages that you can create it with and you can really optimize it as much as you want you have also like redirection but you need to upgrade your account then you're gonna see the checkout reviews here as you can see on the right side how it looks like questions and answers what's your material use this product question email Then you have like, you can edit that to everything here. Net promoter score, email, localization, redirection. Like if they would recommend it to someone and thank you page. Again, you can edit that. Then you have like coupons here. 
and upload photos you can have coupons too i would just use if you want to use for it for free i would use different tool here then you have like seo product rich snippets and importer you can import past orders reviews etc then like ai machine linear learning here and you can enable it and those are reviews contents and generates relevant topics for each review and then you know, like branding here as display the colors and the widgets and you can customize it how it looks like all those customer reviews right then you have also other integrations that apps webhooks etc but this is pretty much it how we can use it this was like a short guide uh, if you enjoy this video you can support, support me, subscribe. If you're going to have any questions, guys, just ask me down below in comments. And have a great day and goodbye. See ya.